Welcome to the Museum of Art. My name is Janie Radabaugh and I am a professor of geological sciences and I teach geology and I also teach about the solar system. And I'm here today at an exhibit called Far Out, the West Recine Photography of Victoria Sambonaris. And this is a really fascinating exhibit. Um, you're not going to see the bright blue skies and the red, red rocks that you see in a lot of the, the photography that you might find down in the national parks and uh, the bookshops and things like that. Instead, what you're going to see is something closer to what your eye would see. Um, you know, as you're out driving across the West, the first thing you notice is that everything is so big and so wide and so expansive. And I feel like she really captures that very well in her photograph. You'll see a really distant skyline and, and you think, how far away is that? And how wide is this? And how can I see that far? And, uh, and then you'll start to notice there are things in the foreground and those grab your eye, they grab your attention. And a lot of what she'll cover is things that we've done to the landscape, ways that we've altered uh, what we see. And uh, what's interesting is I was looking through these pieces of art, I thought, you know, what draws my eye is uh, the, the places that she shows that do not have human impact. And I wondered why that was the case, and I realized, well, I mean, I study the solar system. I study Mars, and I study uh, the moon Titan, a moon of Saturn. I study Io, a moon of Jupiter, with all these active volcanoes. And I'm looking for things that, of course, don't have any human impact. I'm looking for landscapes that have formed like they do on the Earth, but that also might form a little bit differently. And I'm trying to link up those processes and trying to understand how did the volcanoes get so big on Io? How did the river channels form on Titan even though it's too cold for water? How did this volcano on Mars grow so large? And just trying to compare with what I see in our own landscape. Um, and the reason that I go out to my own landscape is because the planets in the solar system are siblings. So the Earth formed out of the same materials that the other planets did, that Mars did, that Venus did, that Io and Titan did, um, with slight variations. There were little pieces that were more available in some areas than others, and then they had their own special histories. But a lot of times I see pictures of other planets and I think that looks like home. And so when I see places, uh, especially like the American West, I see a lot of landscapes that remind me of other planets. And so I go to those places, I want to study them, I want to understand them, I want to get my boots on the ground because I can't do that on other planets yet. So uh, what I was really drawn to in this exhibit is this piece right here that is distant steam vents in Yellowstone. And uh, what drew my eye first, believe it or not, is this beautiful winding river in the foreground. And to me that just evoked adventure. It just shows you a path you can walk, a, a trip you can take out into the landscape. And that draws you up into the rest of the picture. And then, of course, what I saw is, oh, not only that, there are steam vents. And my eye automatically keys to that and thinks, that's a volcano. There's a volcano deep underground. And that's true at Yellowstone. There is magma deep under the surface that is waiting to erupt at Yellowstone. And water comes down there, gets heated up, and then emerges at the surface as steam. And you can see that beautiful line of steam right here in the middle. What I think is really fascinating is she didn't choose to focus on the steam itself. She's looking at the whole landscape. And instead, the steam vents are kind of dividing the image in half. And on the bottom half, I think, is this really beautiful kind of brown texture. And on the top half is the gray sky. Again, we're not seeing those bright blue skies, but we know there are gray skies that happen in the west, and the gray pairs so beautifully with, um, with the foreground because it's reflected in the water here. And, uh, and then I also think there's a really neat kind of symmetry that occurs right here with the stream that comes across, and then there's a bright cloud that comes across, and so there's a sort of um, just a, a beautiful pairing and a symmetry there. And that's also expressed here in this line of steam that comes up on this side and this line of steam over here. And so everything is just so satisfying in this picture. It's really beautiful. And for me, I just want to head off into this wilderness and just uh, examine the steam vents and study them and understand them better and uh, try to understand how they relate to the volcano underneath. I'm sure I would find steam vents on Io, Jupiter's moon. I'm sure that steam would be coming up 
and emerging at the surface. It might not be water, it might be a kind of a sulfurous gas, which is typical of Io, but minus all the grasses. I think instead the brown in the foreground would be some kind of rocks or, or um, deposits, mineral deposits, because there's just no life outside of um, planet Earth. Um, but I really love this photograph. I really love the care that's taken here. I love uh, the symmetry and the patterns and the color and, um, and this just evocative line of steam in the background. I really encourage you to come and look at this entire exhibit. Um, it's here through May 2021. So come, take your time. It's, it's beautiful to be in this space and uh, experience it yourself.